Going first is Mr. Mohammed Hijab. You can go ahead. I think David Wood has said some career ending embarrassing statements today. I mean, to be honest with you. <laughs> we will see in a second who made the career ending. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and peace of Christ to all of you. Let us laugh with this comedian who the Muslim, they think he is a hero. David Wood, he made a career ending today. And the Abdul, they are clapping for him. Let us see the career ending and laugh together. After 20 years of researching Islam, you come with this. Okay, let's do it. And you could not answer anything. <laughs> one by one. One by one. <laughs> Spirit of God hovered over the, uh, hovered over after the God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, no problem. If, if it's that's meant to be God, no problem. Let's go to Zacharias in Old Testament, chapter 6, verse 5. There are four spirits. So are there... You see, that will get you busted, you liar. You see, everybody can go right now to the, to the verse he mentioned in Zechariah, and you will see those are four angels who God will send them to blow the trumpet for the day of judgment. What does this have to do with the topic? You are just a scam, and you have no idea what are you talking about. You know, when we speak to Muslims about Quran, we go and see what the Quran say, what, what the Muslims explain the Quran. You don't give us your own explanation. Where in the Bible it says that those are four spirit of God, which means they are God. You are a liar like your prophet. It says that those for, for the spirit, they are serving the Lord. They are servant of the Lord. Why you don't dare even to read for us the verses? Because you are a coward like your prophet, as usual. This is how they are. They never have a shame. Continue. Seven gods now. Seven gods because now. The word in, uh, in Hebrew <laughs> is Ruach. And you wouldn't know, uh, brother. Uh, brother, in Hebrew, the word is Rawah. Who told you that Rawah? <laughs> Supposedly, this guy he speak Hebrew. Look, let, let me show you how much he do poo poo. He is now bragging that he speak Hebrew and he speak Arabic. But in both of them, they, he make a big mistakes. Let us laugh together at this comedy show. Because look, I, I, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Not only do you not know Arabic, uh -huh. but you don't know Hebrew. And I mean, brother, you don't know Hebrew. You do not know Arabic. What I can do about you? Like, can we do? Can we? Can we debate in Chinese? <laughs> Supposedly, he knew Arabic, and he knew Arabic, and, and you Hebrew. <laughs> Making a big mistake by trying to interpret the, the biblical text in this way. Uh huh. There's two words for spirits in the Hebrew language: the ruach, which is the same as the Arabic, and the ruach. The word ruach is here in, uh, in, in Zechariah uh, ch chapter six, verse five, hmm. talking about four spirits. So tell us why. Uh, if that is a spirit and it's God, then how comes there's only three gods? You are a liar, and I challenge any Muslim to ask him to show us where it says that those are the spirit of God, which means God have four spirit. You are a liar with no shame. You just destroy your career because if you claim that you have a career of knowledge. That is exposed. Actually, I made a video already, and I posted about Zechariah. Continue, please, and let us stop. Stop repeating. This guy, by the way, he repeats himself a lot. You think like I'm not? I'm not going backward. By the way, the video is going forward. But because because he have nothing to say, he keep repeating the same thing. So uh, three persons of God, mm -hmm. and uh, uh -huh. and there isn't seven, for example. Uh -huh. He says that for that Jesus. This is called the etymology fallacy. That's, you know, he's been referred to as Emmanuel, etc. God is with us. Elijah is also, the word Elijah in the, in the Hebrew language means God is with us. <laughs> did he say, did he just say that in Hebrew, the, the word Elijah means God is with us? Muslims, when somebody could take the stage and he is he is making fun of David Wood because he do not know Hebrew, then he say on the stage and it's recorded in video that the word Elijah means God is with us. <coughs> Abdul, Abdul, I mean you are obviously so ready to debate. Man, you spend a lot of time studying. Brother, who is your teacher, brother? Dr. Zakir Naik, brother sister. In the beginning, if we go to the word Elida, we will find the word Elida, brother. It means that God is with us. Who is the donkey who taught you that? 
please tell me who is the donkey he told you that Elijah mean God is with us brother please in the, in the Hebrew language means God is with us <laughs> so, <laughs> I cannot stop myself from laughing. <laughs> the word Elijah means what? <laughs> is also, the word Elijah in the, in the Hebrew language means God is with us. <laughs> so if, if that makes Jesus God, then Elijah is also. <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy. Uh, oh, this is too much. Unbelievable. Oh, brother. This is too much. Oh, hey. Can somebody give me some water, please. <laughs> Abdul, you can do a little search. It take you two seconds, and you will find that the word Elijah mean Yahweh is my God. Yah is my God. Where this donkey he got this? Even in the stupid Wikipedia, it says that. In any, you, you can go to Christian website, you can see that. When this guy, he said that God is with us, and this is what Elijah mean. Shouldn't you Muslims spank him for reclaiming and making fun of David Wood because he don't speak Hebrew when this donkey is saying something so funny and so stupid? The word Ruh and Rawah in Hebrew, supposed to he speak Hebrew. Yeah, right. You know what? You remind me of your stupid prophet when he said that Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, and you stupid Muslims thought that Azar mean, or it is the name of, of the father of, of Abraham. But the fact the word Azar is a word mean foolish <laughs> in Aramaic. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, <laughs> do Abraham <laughs> say to his father Azar? <laughs> they did not translate the word Azar from Aramaic to Arabic because they thought it's a name. <laughs> Azar, you. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I love I love Abdul. I really, really love you. I really, really love you. I mean, I could not believe it when this guy he said that Elijah, it means God is with us in, in Hebrew. Uh, David Wood, you don't know Arabic, you do not know in, in English. I mean, your even your English is funny. <laughs> Look what they do. When they speak to Christian friends, they say to me, your English is funny. When he speak, when they speak to David Wood, they will say, to, he cannot, they cannot say your English is funny. So they say to him, your Hebrew is bad and your Arabic is bad. <laughs> yet, 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 Elijah, it, it means God is with us. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'm not going to make this video long. I just want you to, to learn some, uh, 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 like, listen in Arabic and in Hebrew, and maybe in Chinese at the same time. <laughs> Before we finish, please, please, guys, listen, please. Not only the stupid Muslims and Muhammad, he thought that the father of Abraham, his name is Azar, but the stupid Muhammad, even he caught all the names in the Quran, all the biblical names in the Quran wrong. As an example, Mary, her father is Umran. Who is Umran? <laughs> Anybody can tell me. It is something very normal in Islam. <laughs> Umran? <laughs> Mary, father, his name, her name is Amra. <laughs> and not only that, my friend, not only Mary, father, his, her, her father, her, his name is Amran. <laughs> Even Moses, his father, his name is Amran. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> brother. So Mary father, Mary father, his, his name is Omron. Huh? Musa's father, his name is Omron. <laughs> and then Muhammad, he came with the conclusion that Mary is the sister of Aaron, which is this, this the, which which is the brother of 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 Moses. <laughs> oh boy, uh, Abdul, I truly, truly enjoy listening to you, and you are absolutely full of knowledge. <laughs> I think this is enough for today. We will show you more videos tomorrow and we will continue this nice comedy with those Abdul who claim that they have knowledge, but they are stupid donkeys like their prophet. The one who said, uh, they asked the prophet. He said the Muslims are very knowledgeable and this is why they follow Muhammad. They are people of science. Uh, when they asked the prophet, what resemble, what make the kid, uh, you know, uh, a boy? Uh, he said, uh, well, obviously, if the, <laughs> if, the, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. <laughs> And if the women have orgasm first, the baby would be a girl. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, Mr. Hijab, he did not quote for us the science and the knowledge of, I, I think, I think the Prophet Muhammad, he learned this, that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. I think he learned that from the Greek. Is that mean that Muhammad, who always trying to have orgasm first so he can get a boy and he never was able to make one? <laughs> I'm telling you, actually, Muhammad, I don't think Muhammad ever he made any of his wife have orgasm. In the hadith, it says that his wife, she asked him. <laughs> His wife, his wife, she said to him, but do women have orgasm? <laughs> Umu Salama, Umu Salama, she said to the prophet, who is Umu Salama, the wife of the prophet? I hope, I hope that, uh, 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 what his name? Uh, hijab will not say to us that the word Ummu Salama mean the mother of zucchini. <laughs> Ummu Salama, hold on, hold on, please, hold on. Show respect, please, show respect. Ummu Salama said to the Messenger of Allah, and does the women have sexual dream? It doesn't say that in Arabic. It says, do the women have orgasm? وَتَحْتَلِمُ الْمَرْأَ The women, she is masturbating asking muhammad if she should wash her vagina and by the way here you notice that muhammad was the only expert in town in vagina questions <laughs> and muhammad is explaining to Ummu Salama, which obviously his wife, she never have orgasm all his life, telling her, are you stupid or what? If the women she have no orgasm or no yellow water, I has described her, so how the baby, how the child resemble, <laughs> resemble her? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, this is real knowledge. Obviously, Muhammad, he speak Hebrew and he speak Greek and he speak Chinese and Japanese and even he can sing and dance in all languages. Brother, how then if the women, she don't have a sexual dream, uh, it doesn't say sexual dream, have orgasm, then the brother, how the women, how you explain that the child resemble her. So Muhammad, he explained that the orgasm, the women, the orgasm of the women, 
is the cause and the reason for the child to resemble the mother I mean this is obviously extreme knowledge and now I know what happened in every bedroom in case you don't understand what I'm saying Abdul listen carefully when your prophet said that when the women have orgasm first If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what you had it. Let us go back here. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin. And yellow, and whichever whichever of them come first, the baby will resemble the parent. <laughs> Aren't you getting it yet? Whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. Oh, Muhammad Hijab, obviously we know who came first in the bedroom of your father. <laughs> this is knowledge. <laughs> oh, boy. And look with me. The prophet is expert. Listen, listen. The prophet is expert in colors, not only in the in A and uh, <laughs> oh, the, the Muslim they say this is about the chromosome. <laughs> about, about, about what? About the chromosome? <laughs> the chromosome, brother. <laughs> the brother, brother. I have a conclusion. I think the prophet, he is extremely knowledgeable because he was attending the classroom of the brother Muhammad Hijab who speak Hebrew and he say that Elijah means God is with us. And the word Ruch, Ruch. <laughs> this is why he got all the names in the Quran wrong. Not a single name, even, even Jesus, he cut him as Isa. Who is Isa, by the way? Did you meet Isa before? Anyone can tell me. Anyway, anyway, with this, I leave you in peace. This is a Christian prince who was with you. And I hope the Muslims will listen carefully. When you think that you have knowledge, we die from laughing. When you bring us someone to debate, and you don't dare to debate me, by the way, all of you, a bunch of potatoes. You debate American who don't speak Arabic, so you will say to them, oh, you don't speak Arabic. And this is why you choose carefully who you debate so you can make fun of their Arabic and you claim that they do not know what they are talking about but yet you don't speak Hebrew you don't even know good Arabic and I can I will get you busted in more videos it based on what you said in this debate I will make everybody laugh at you you will became my joke for the coming three months maybe you get me you gave me a good food God knows oh sorry did I say God knows I should say Allah knows <laughs> Because you know only Allah knows and this is why he said that the women she have uh, <clears throat> Breast testicles come in in her ribs <laughs> And actually uh, this is one of the reason I'm thinking to convert to Islam, but maybe later later Imagine brother imagine imagine you go in the bedroom and your wife she take off her clothes instead of seeing a breast You see a breast testicles I mean, this is beautiful. <laughs> Obviously, Allah, he did a lot of research. And this is why the Muslims, if you, if you, if you, if you read in the video, <laughs> brother, brother, if you go in the video of the Muslims, you will see they introduce Muhammad Hijab as a researcher. <laughs> 
<laughs> a brother, this is a lot of research. <laughs> That's so much. So he did he did a lot of research and he come to the conclusion that the word Elijah mean God is with us. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. Come on, show some respect. I mean, put yourself in his shoes. What do you think people would do to you? I mean, those things happen. He is a researcher. During the research, many things happened. It's a process, brother. It's a process. Uh, thank you very much. That's it. That's it. I'm done for today. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord and Islam is a stupid. Made by a stupid man for the stupid ones. See you soon. And this is a Christian prince was with you. Learning Hebrew and Arabic from a brother... Uh, what his name? Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> and thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>